um, everybody has said, I need to demand to have the FBI involved. So if I can have you for a second, B, you're my best friend right now. You have nothing to do with law enforcement. I don't know what to do, but I feel like at this point, it's been 10, 11 days. Um, I know you guys are working around the clock. It has nothing to do with the... the um, is we found that she'd been in contact with somebody over the last several years okay. um, through email, through phones, through... Um, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Crime Circus. My name is Drip Drop, and I'm your host. Tonight, I present to you Keith Papini's second interrogation. <laughs> this is about two weeks after his wife went missing, and about one week after his polygraph test. At this point, detectives did not know if Sherry was dead or alive. Usually, the husband is the prime suspect. Do you think they suspected Keith in doing something to his wife, Sherry? Let me know down in the comments, were you suspicious of Keith after watching these videos? And yes, I've got James Ray's interview coming. Stay tuned for that. I don't know if I'm releasing that in the Crime Circus Cult or Crime Circus. Make sure you subscribe to both channels. Thank you. Now let's see what Keith Papini has to say for himself during the second interrogation that's never been seen anywhere else. I believe in. <laughs> oh, there's some that I'm like, eh. Should have blown my phone up. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, I've been getting contacted by some people that I'm not like supposed to tell them their name, but they are involved in the FBI. Okay. Through friends, because I know everybody. <laughs> Um, everybody has said, I need to demand to have the FBI involved. So if I could have you for a second, B, you're my best friend right now. You have nothing to do with law enforcement. I don't know what to do, but I feel like at this point, it's been 10, 11 days. Um, I know you guys are working around the clock. It has nothing to do with the, the, so on Friday, yeah. we gave data to the FBI. Okay. So there's a guy with the FBI looking at the data that we already have. So that's, that's, okay. that's happening. Awesome. Yeah. I, I've been told by this FBI guy that there's a difference between sharing information versus having them, I guess, lead the investigation. And through these channels, I mean, and I'm, I'm going to talk to you like you're my best friend right now. They're telling me, go in there. You love everything they've done. We're not stepping on anybody's toes. But you, you have to formally tell them that you're requesting the FBI to take over. And if they are not willing to do that, then you need to go on the news <laughs> and make a big stink that the sheriff's office is denying to allow other agencies to get in. And then if he somehow was aware of the thing I sent you with mm -hmm. uh, other people trying to help. And I'm not saying they're being turned away, but in, he's all you need to bring all that up. And then they will take over. He also told me I need to go to the FBI office down the street. Um, of course, they haven't returned my uh, call. So, obviously, I was like, hey, man, my detective guy, he's cool. I mean, <laughs> I like the guy. I know they're doing everything, and they're not getting any sleep. I, I do believe they're doing everything they can. And he's like, I'm sure they are, but it's, it's better to have the more people, the more the merrier. And then again, that's not, okay. that's not true. Okay. So the more the merrier means more things get fumbled, the more things get fucked up, the more things drop. Mm -hmm. Because let's say I think I'm the lead investigator. Mm -hmm. My Sergeant Brian that you met, he's, he's ultimately in charge of it. Okay. So everything filters through two people. So all my guys talk to me, I talk to Brian, my guys talk to Brian, Brian talks to me. So at all times, me and Brian knows exactly what's going on. Okay. So if we bring in the FBI and they get a little piece of information that we that is crucial to us, but mm -hmm. they don't know it's crucial to us, it gets fumbled. So when the more people you bring in, yes, at the very beginning, that very first couple of days, everybody going out there and scouring and getting information, which we did, mm -hmm. now that now everything is details. From here on out, from about day four on, it's all details. Okay. So if I get a little piece here, 
and then I get a little piece here, I have I can I can get to the third step. If we start passing it on, and I'm not saying we will skip that conversation. Okay. When we pass it on, and now the FBI is mirroring our investigation, we're doing our own investigation. We won't be talking because that's just typically how the FBI works. Mm-hmm. Um, a little bit of information that they got might have broke everything for us. A little piece of information that we had might have broke it for them. So just because, like, let's say they're in it, mm-hmm. um, it's not like we would have missed that piece. It would have just been like, hey, on a brief, hey, FBI is going to go do this interview for us. All right, bye. And then we, then like a month, two months from now, then we get the report and then we go, there's that piece. So I'm not saying that it's not happening. The FBI is involved. They are working with this. We've sent data to Portland for the their number one phone person in the West Coast. Okay. Um, so it's happening. We're not, we're not refusing people. Your buddy down in, in, in Cocoa County, mm-hmm. there's nothing for him to do. He doesn't have some special law that allows him to kick doors down. So with him saying that like a week later, yes, we had that. We had that exigency, which he would be considered working under that first three days. And in that first three days, we did all of that. Um, We've contacted every 290 in the county. We've Mm -hmm. contacted every probation. We've done, we've already done that. So for them to come and say, I can do this better I'm a high entry dynamic team type stuff. It's cool, but it's done. Mm-hmm. So for him to come with the, we call them knuckle draggers, the knuckle dragger people, he's knuckle dragging what we've already knuckle dragged. So it's not everybody wants to help. We understand that. We've been in car, um, Bertain's been in contact with his commander. So it's not like we're ignoring it. We just don't, we don't have what, where are we going at this point mm-hmm. besides just stabbing in the dark? I guess, uh, and I mean, as you've heard and if you've talked to, you know, all these people obviously want to help. So they're going around and sometimes I'm not an investor. I'm not a detective. You guys are way smarter than me when it comes to this stuff, but I, I still feel and it has something to do with somebody in our neighborhood or an acquaintance of them. So when I know that when I went around and spoke to, you know, 12 houses. I know that three of them said that they never even spoke to a sheriff. Now, whether they weren't home or not, that's one thing. And then when my buddies are coming back saying, oh, this person over here never spoke to this person over here. Like to me, I mean, I'm the husband. Of course, I'm, you know, I want everything. Uh, Those are the things where I just feel that it's somebody in my neighborhood or an acquaintance. And I know you've gotten all the stories, this Ricky Martin guy and his brother, but they're telling me that that it was mentioned that he had property in Lakehead, but then no one knew he had all these property in like Costella and they got all these padlocks over the buildings. And I'm, hopefully somebody's checked that out. It's just, so when these stories get back to me and I don't know if they're true, you know, or not. So like to me, there's frustration there. I'm pissed off. Like well, everybody in this whole neighborhood should have been locked down and their houses should be searched, whether they're sex offenders or not. Of course, I don't know if that's the way things work, but to me, That's the way things should work. So you have these people going and finding these Ricky Martins and finding everything Mm -hmm. three or four days after we have. Okay. So we've we've already contacted every most of the people that are talking to. We knew about them. So like let's say they go and get there and there's there's underwear on the on the thing. They're extra large underwear. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. We don't. We're done. So they're (laughs) spinning their wheels on everything and running and every little nugget and it's just it's it's a waste of their time Mm -hmm. to because it's already either been done or we already knew about it Um, so with all those contacts to you and all that stuff is it's a it's a filter issue yeah because it's it's bullshit and you shouldn't be having to worry about every little they talked to a guy who had underwear on their rearview mirror or they talked to a guy that ran off from them yeah yeah if you're living out there and some four du- normal trucks are chasing you, you're going to lie to them. You're going to say some weird shit. Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with their being involved in this case. It just has everything to do with five creepy dudes chasing after them, regardless of their intentions. Um, so they're just stomping on shit for no reason. Okay. Um, but I can't tell them to stop. I'm gonna just, it is what it is. They're, they're being stupid. One of them, Texted me last night and said he's going to try to 
um, go undercover with one of the baddest people in Northern California. <laughs> and it's stupid. Uh, I, I'll agree because there's some people, there's like my core guys and then there's people I've never even seen before and they're telling me, oh, I bought this thing. We're going to listening devices. And you know what? My wife's missing. If they want to do that, they want to get in trouble. I mean, that's on them. I I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. I told you I got my checklist and it says do everything. Yeah. And I got people from the FBI, basically, which I can't say any names, telling me that I need to get them more involved because they will not get involved unless Shasta County says we need you to get involved. Uh, and that's and I'm sure they're involved, but you know what I mean? I just take involved. over, I guess. <clears throat> and For as far as the FBI to take over, we have to have a federal crime. Mm. We don't have a federal crime at this point. If we can prove that somebody took her over state, then yes. This on, on the big scheme of things, this is a local case regardless. Mm -hmm. So even if we called and demanded the FBI to show up and do these things, they're working under California law and they work under federal law. Okay. So they don't have that authority to come in and take it from us. If we had proof that they crossed lines or anything like that, then yes. We have every resource we have helping us. Yeah. I've been in contact with Homeland Security. I've been in contact with the TSA. I've been in contact with the FBI, all, all of them, giving them little bits and pieces of information for them to help us. The FBI gave us an agent to help us with the data. Um, so we're, we're doing that because at this point, after this last week or 10 days that we've been working, obviously we mind you out, you're out. Mm -hmm. So then now we're, now we're at a crossroads. We're either stranger or known person. <laughs> or she walked out. That, definitely no way. The problem, problem with both is we're investigating either one. Mm -hmm. Stranger, we have the FBI doing stuff for us. Okay. They're looking through the cell phone tower data. They're looking through all of the, um, the like, data was points. There anything on her phone that you guys found at all? Yes. And I can share that or no? We can talk about it, but not I a shirt. I'm not going to tell anybody after uh, the whole thing with the shirt. That's what we were going to start talking about. Okay. So the, regarding the stranger investigation, FBI is doing everything with the cell phone tower data, cell phones, pings anything, and non pings, and yeah. who was in this area based on cell phone usage. Does it, people are saying that they can tell if the phone was going five miles an hour and then 25 miles an hour. Is that something that's possible? No. Okay. So we have the ability to ping phone numbers. So out of this, we have like 18, one carrier for three hours, we had 2,200 numbers. One carrier, that's just Verizon, we had 2,200 numbers for our time frame. Okay. So we're mining that down through the FBI. So we're, we're doing that regarding the stranger aspect. Is your time frame basically 1050 to 11 or 12 probably? Is that kind of what you guys are thinking? That's our small one and our big one is up to 13, up to three. Okay. So what we're getting data for is an hour before out, like till three, because there's some people talking about three yeah, still. That makes sense to me, but okay. No, but it's there. Yeah. The big focus is that 1050 to noon. Okay, yeah. Um, so regarding that stranger aspect, we have that going for us. They're giving us information and we're we're running through it. Okay. The walkout is still a Unfortunately, and we'll we'll talk about it right now. It's a big it's a it's a bigger possibility now than it was day one okay. or day five. Um, so the reason why I flew out of state mm -hmm. um, is we found that she'd been in contact with somebody over the last several years okay. um, through email, through phones, through um, lots of different aspects. Okay, um, the conversations were romantic in nature. Um, that person just happened to be in San Francisco the day before she went missing. Okay. Um, so we looked into that. We tried to see if there was any connection to Sherry going back to him or going back with him or him sending somebody to take her out. Um, yeah. So we looked into all of that. Um, and then we ultimately flew out um, to talk to him. Okay. Um, within those text messages, there were text messages leading to um, believe that it kind of sounds like there was plans for her to be leaving. Um, okay. And it's, Who's and this guy? <laughs> exactly. I'll keep this between us. Um, so I'm trying to think of the name. 
What's that? I want to think of who it is you know, that we talked about in the past. Uh-huh. If you give me a name, I'll tell a name, but at this point, um, fuck. I mean, I, I feel like I should be in the loop on this, but I don't know. James, David. Uh, but, so the name doesn't matter. The facts matter. Okay. Between me, between, for the whole case, um, the facts of it matter, not like the, de- not the that detail of it. So they were, they've been in contact. So we, that's why we flew out. They were in contact the day before she went missing. So we have that. So now we have this aspect of when we go and talk to him, um, she's talking about, you know, the negative things of marriage, yeah. not the positive, like the, he follows me, like all these little aspects that, that she portrays the marriage as not being good, mm-hmm. um, which is what it is. Yeah. Um, so with the aspect, we've talked to other people who she's mirrored that same information to, um, it just, it paints it. We don't know. Yeah. And that's something we have to look at. So now what we're going to be doing this week is we're going through all of her phone contacts and we're going to go talk to everybody. Okay. Because the stranger abduction, I'm not saying isn't possible. I'm not saying that it's, it's not there, but it's a lightning strike rare um, to, hit, to hit a quarter. It's, mm-hmm. it's just not... It's plausible. It's there. We're working on it. We're, doing, we're working hard on it. We're not ignoring it. So I don't want you to think that we're not ignoring it. But this, the other feature of it is is making a little more sense. Well, I know, I'm sorry, maybe I don't, but I do know that she's the kind of girl that if there's an argument, like whoever that person is, she'll lead on, you know, that it's worse than it is or whatever to get the comfort from that person. I mean, her sister and I were talking about it because that unfortunately is how she is. So and I, I agree with that. And that's based on... Everything you see. The based on writes. the people I've talked to. Yeah. Not even how she writes, okay. just based on facts that I know mm-hmm. versus stories that she's told. Mm-hmm. They're not there. They don't match. Yeah. So um, I know she has a little <laughs> problem with that. I think she gets that from her mother. Um, I feel I can help. I obviously, and this is freaking me out, this one. So I would like to do all that I can. And I really want to think about this. And I need something to think about. So... I mean, I'll do whatever you need to promise that I won't talk about it to anybody, but I need to know that. And I don't see how that should be not shared. Or if you could tell me the state, maybe I can put it together with who that person is. Um, when did you guys do the post now? How long ago? What was that story? So that story is she went to, I want to say Minnesota or something like that. So I don't know if that's where you went one of those states for AT&T. Uh, we were kind of in an argument at that time. I sent her some flowers to a room. Long story short, I found out she went to dinner with a guy. I got super pissed. She came back it was before we had kids. And I was like, what are you doing? This is like the worst thing, you know, fucking ever. Why would you ever do something like this? And I was like, you know, we're, we're going to do a post now because I don't know if I can trust you. And you're, you're just getting into marriage. So, you, you know, my whole world is kind of whatever. So she said, fine, I'll do whatever, you know, and, and that's how it went. I got, I saw the text messages and they were um, something that I, I was very proud of and no one knows about all this, but, and they're probably saved on one of these phones. And uh, so that's when that got signed. And then it's never been brought up again, never anything again okay so yeah. that that fits the situation okay that fits the person we went and talked to and what did he say nothing to do or he looks say i mean does he have to take a lie detector test or? <laughs> so just like we knew prior to you taking a law enforcement test that you were out of it uh-huh. um, we're not going back out there to, to give a lie detector test we're See, very okay. we're very confident that he had nothing to do with it okay. um Based on timeline, based on um, timeline, witnesses, and alibi situations, he was in an Uber. He was in an Uber, um, and we talked to that Uber driver the time on our timeline in San Francisco. Did they have an affair then? No, right. um, they've just communicated. Okay. So regardless, it wasn't sexual. It may have been emotional, but it wasn't. Yeah. There was no contact since. But you said the they first, talked the day before. They were texting the day before, yes. Okay. Um, 
So then in, within those text messages is that little line of, um, it's like something in effect of like, there's something in the works. Pretty much there's something in the works for us to be together is the, the context of it. Fuck, man. All um, right. And those are, I mean, she's deli- like you were able to recover these or these are on her phone? We weren't able to recover because um, Apple, when you delete text messages, it gets encrypted and you can't look at it. Unless Apple. Uh, it's an Apple thing. I mean, can they, or it's gone forever. It, remember the San Bernardino I know, stuff? but it's, somebody got in. <laughs> exactly. We're working on that. So the other half of that, instead of doing that, we're sending it to, we're going to go talk to everybody within all those text messages. We're going to go talk to those people. Because the big scheme of things for this to happen, we need two aspects. Money yeah, and, and security. Um, so part of the theory, not facts regarding this, is if, if this did what happened, and now this is so far out of fucking control, right? If mm-hmm. you're on that aspect, hey, yeah. I'm just trying to leave my husband and fuck, he's on Good Morning America and yeah. we're on all these things. So she's hiding. And that's the potential. This is the stranger is still reality, um, but it's just as much a reality as the other. This right here, I mean, I can see her talking to somebody and yeah. keeping her alive because she's unfortunately done that in the past. When we first got together, she did shit that I think is weird and from her kind of childhood. Um, I mean, I just found like two pages out of her freaking journal that she ripped on this thing, and they're not that old. And it was just talking about how much you know she loves me, and that no matter how big these fights we get, and, and the thought of kissing somebody else would like disgust her. You know, I'm bringing this, I'm bringing it in if you need. But uh, um, obviously, you know, anybody's feelings are going to be hurt. But I do know that she does exaggerate things to other people and make it seem because she likes the empathy or whatever you want to call it from other people. Um, was there photos or anything sent back and forth to this person? And or email or just text? It's been email, it's been text, it's been other sites like LinkedIn, I think LinkedIn. I don't know what it yeah. is. Um, through those things. Am I available to see any of that so that I can read through and make my timeline and things like that? Um, at this point, all of it was found on her phone and it's all okay. it's the evidence aspect of it. It's been roughly this latest string of text messages has been about since August, April, April to August, April, I think. And is he in reply? I mean, is there, is it like we should be together type text messages or is it just I'm going through rough marriage and we should meet up? A little bit of both. Um, ah. Not full on building up, making plans or vice versa, but there's definitely conversations of possibilities of stuff. So it just opens, it opens this door. Um, we thought this door was shut. Sorry. Um, but now it's, it's opening in and obviously. I was going to bring my badge in here and slap it down. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'm at a loss. I, I, that would have never been, uh, you know, something crossed my mind, especially with kids and stuff. I find it weird, though, that if, if that's the only thing is this, then to me it almost seems like just her normal, you know, yeah. feel bad for me thing. But I find it weird that he was, you said he was in San Francisco the day before. Yeah. And, and that's, that's why we flew out there. So it's not like we ignored that. We, I went, I was on two hours of sleep. We, we went, I was there. Yeah. It's a shitty area. Um, but it just opens. And how do you how do you make the determination that he's not involved or that he's like, you know what, she might have set something up to come here. What? Why was he in San Francisco if he lived somewhere else? He had a conference. We confirmed that. And he it had been texted since August that he was coming out there during that time. So it wasn't it wasn't like a spur of the moment. Like, hey, I'm happen to be coming to California. Um, like the day before, it wasn't like that. They'd been they'd been communicating for a time. Mm-hmm. Um, and like I said, before we put you on the lie detector test, we knew you weren't involved. Yeah. So the same aspects, the same techniques, the same everything we used at you, um, we threw at him. Um, 
we had people following him for a couple of days prior to us going out there. So we, we were confident that she wasn't with him out there at that time when we flew out there. Um, but we still had to get the contacts and what yeah. was going on. I, I mean, when it all happened, she was like, you know, I just, it felt nice to be you know, all dressed up and away. And she was, you know, pretty big in her job. And I remember she was telling me all that. At that time, did they talk about, did they, were they ever romantic at that time? No. Cause I just know they went out to dinner and I, I didn't know and I had like trust issues. Uh, I mean, she had there's a horrible, horrible upbringing and she does have you know, some issues. You don't want to talk about your wife, but. I mean, even because I've been ran, I ran that possibility. Like, okay, so let's say she hates me or doesn't want to be or she's not happy being at home, you know, with the kids or whatever. I still don't see her leave her kids. But and it was a day thing and then it blows up like it did. And now she's like, oh shit, I should have never. And that's something we've all, we've all talked about. It's stuff yeah. we've all looked at. Um, but how. How does she get away and get how, down the I 5 or whatever? Well, and how I'm Nobody's looking. seen her. In theory, it wasn't it wasn't like this. It was a pickup. So you have the pickup spot prearranged. You have um, you have windows of time as opposed to me sitting there, me sitting there in a car, no. for, or me. There's just some type of. I feel uh, like all the cameras you got. I mean, you would have seen her. Like, I'm sure you guys went through every camera. Yeah. So, but it depends on which way they went. I, and I'll be honest, I, I still don't believe this. Obviously, I'm not happy with what you're telling me. I mean, that's yeah. common. But I do know how Sherry could do stuff like that. Um, but I'll be honest, I don't think she'd be able to pull it off that clean. I mean, unless somebody was telling her. And it seems like you would have found those texts where he's like, well, you have to leave all your cash and leave your wallet and leave this. And then you got to do this. And then you got to leave the phone. And, and that's why... That's why that's our, our new work. Yeah. So this is being done by the FBI, the stranger aspect of it. So when they get stuff, we have guys dedicated to do any of this stuff. The other half of this week is we're going to try to find, we're going we're gonna to mine this out like we did you. Looked at everything, got it down to bedrock. We knew exactly that, that you weren't involved. We're going to do this on that same aspect while the stranger thing is being worked out. Is there a printout I can read and then give back to you so that I don't have it or something? Obviously, the only thing I'm going to think about in the next forever is those text messages. Is there a way I can read those and without taking it from here? No, because it really, like, like if we don't want people's last memories to be bad memories on my aspect of it. Yeah. Obviously, you can either let your imagination let it go or you can let your imagination turn it into a beast. Mm -hmm. This, the conversations that they had were not of a, it wasn't, it was benign. Mm -hmm. It was more of like, it was more like um, just talking. It wasn't like love of my life type stuff. Yeah. So it wasn't, it wasn't that aspect. Was there some flirtation in there? Yes. Was there, I'm coming, I'm coming out to meet you. No, there wasn't any of that stuff. Um, but if there's friends conversation, there's um, aspect of that. Um, and I wouldn't, for you to read it, it just makes it a beast instead of it just being something that we looked at, something that we went and found. Um, so let's say, let's just run with this. And she sets this thing out, which I think is nothing she can, <laughs> there's no way. But let's say she does, and she goes down to maybe San Francisco or something. She's going to surprise this guy or something. I just feel like everybody's looking for her right now. <laughs> I mean, somebody's going to go, there she is driving by. That's going to be on a, um, people that know what's going on. So if you and I plan this and I, hey, you're going to pick me up and, it, and it's between one one and one, mm -hmm. it, it's achievable. Because no matter how much info I see or read, you know, if I ultimately feel or if she's ultimately made me feel that her life was in danger if she left you, you know, you can have that knight in shining armor type thing or it could be a girlfriend that's trying to help him out. So there's, 
there's that one-on-one -on -one aspect of it. So it's not, it's not a group of people. Um, that's how that can generally get, stay quiet. So your phone thing that you're talking about is between that time, this is how many phone, 2,000, 3,000 phone numbers were on. So that if, if she did in fact get picked up used, or used, if she didn't get back, eventually you're going to come down line and find that phone. Yeah. And then how does that, how do you tie that to, you just see if, there's, if that phone number has ever been in contact with her phone number or something? Or? Um, pretty much. Okay. And that's what. And that takes a while. <laughs> It's 2000 for just one carry. So you guys are doing it, or that's what the FBI is doing? We've been it. doing it. The FBI is doing it now also. Right. So they're doing, um, we had a guy just working her cell phone. So it gives us GPS points. It gives us all of her contacts. It gives all of her texts. And all of these things is how we found the guy. And that's why we flew off. Um, based on timeline, based on him being in San Francisco, based on all those things, he got moved to the front of the plate and we left. Um, so now we're, he's now the, he's been worked. So he's, we put him on a shelf and now we're doing the same thing over, um, going for the next, maybe possible possibility type thing. And how long is he, was he in San Francisco? For? Uh, two days. Right. And he was on, he was in the airport the, the, about the time she went missing. So we're, I'm confident. Um, I'm not saying that I'm thinking of you know, meeting and, you know, she's getting down there to go meet or something, which again, I still don't like that, but now my head's going to race around that because I can't figure out this one. So now I'm going to that one. Um, in the big scheme of things, if she did this one, because let's say she, she, whatever her belief is that she's scared or whatnot, the more you try to do this, the more she'll go into hiding. Mm -hmm. This this is not, we're not being ignored. I want you to know that. This is one of our bigger priorities at this point because it's something we can do. Yeah. The stranger, we're just waiting to chase something. This is active people that we know will, that we can go find and we can go talk to. Um, so that's going to be a huge focus until we get more info there on that. I feel if you're making all those phone calls and, and saying stuff like that and like gives them a hint that we're coming, it's only going to be detrimental. Right, yeah. Obviously, if this is the outcome, there's going to be huge issues already. Oh, she's so funny. You might have to get me on that. <laughs> um, but so I can tell you when that went down. Damn it! I feel like I have this shit saved somewhere because I mean, obviously, it was a big deal when it happened. Uh, she was in contact with a girl. I don't know if you figured that already. And the girl is friends with this guy, and. She was the one like, oh, no, he was really great. I, you know, I wanted, to, I wanted to go out and see him again type of thing. Those were the ones that I saw. And I was like, who the fuck is this guy? And blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, this shit ain't going to go down. I know you got your new job and you're dressed all fancy and you, you like the attention and maybe I wasn't giving it to you or whatever. But so I didn't have his name, but I just knew they were contacting him through this girl. So do you have that girl or any of those texts? Okay. I know. And I... And, and there's been no text, so I guess that's gone. No, there's no mutual... We haven't found a connection between um, that phone number. Um, we have the connection between that phone number and your wife. Um, and there's no other text. There's no phone numbers because we did all of his stuff there. We don't have like a triangle. All we have is one one. And what, uh, if I may ask... What's the number? I only want to type it in just to see if it pops up because it should be in my phone. I just want to know, was it under his name? No. Or was it under? It was under... So I, it's in my head. It's on my desk somewhere. It's, it was hidden under a female's name. Yeah. <sighs> um, so how many people... Everybody's on this one right now? Because we're waiting for that. <laughs> We have people standing by for this, and then the rest of the unit will be working on that. So we're standing by for this. Let's just say this is what it is. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you're more confident you can get a result from this quicker. 
because the phone number would probably lead and then you'd be like, oh, well, this is the person that picked her up. Now she has a girlfriend that I don't really care for named Corinne okay. that lives down south. I don't know if you've ever seen her name anywhere. This, this is new to us. This is new since Friday to us. Not the theory, but the, the revitalized theory. Um, so we have not, that's why I'm here today trying to, yeah. I'm going through doing that. Um, but no, I've never heard of Corinne yet, but this is... There's a girl named Corinne that lived down south. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is all way back in the past. Everything's been so much different. Um, those texts to this person, um, they go back till August, you said? Or they go back April. Okay. So they're based on timelines. They, they won't have contact for several months, year, and then they, they text for a little while, and then it, it goes back. And it's like an ebb and flow. Right. Pretty much the, our timeline is when she's mad at you, she reaches out. When he's single, he reaches out. Gotcha. Um, and it's just this ping pong of over the last four or five years. Yeah. Um, but they've only seen each other the once. The one time, yeah. And, what, and they went out to dinner or something like that. Is that the story you gave? Yeah. And you're confident in that. <laughs> yeah. That's the story I got. And uh, and I, man, I had a hard time because I don't ever, I'm a rule follower. And <laughs> um, All right. Well, still, personally, I still think it's over here just because I have, I mean, that would yeah. be too clean. And you'd think you'd take some cash with you. And, uh, oh, did you get into her bank yet? Yeah. And all that looks normal? Yeah. She has a lot of money to a lot of people. She owes a lot of money to a lot of people? Like yeah. credit cards? Yeah. So I just paid off. That's I was going to ask you how that worked because I just went and paid off Victoria's Secret, Kohl's, Old Navy, yeah. and one other one. So you, when you say a lot of people, there's like way more than that? No, that's, that's just a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't ever owe anything. So I was going to ask you how I do that. How am I supposed to get, can I get a credit card report so I can pay off whatever's open? Because I, I only saw the cards. I was a little... And then, of course, I had the mail. Mm -hmm. So I just paid all those off so I didn't deal with it. I don't know how that works, like, to be honest with you. I think she has like a Capital One card or something, maybe. I, I don't okay. know. Okay. I, I guess I'll just wait for the bill to show up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but nothing like she owes a lot of like five grand to this no, kind of thing. Okay. We haven't found like it's not like she has a bookie that we found or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. But, um, and no weird. I know there's probably weird cash withdrawals because she kind of moves stuff from her IRA to her bank account and then takes that cash and then pays. It's kind of weird how she does it. Nothing that nothing that's out of the ordinary. Nothing that that stood out. So yes, there were things that were were consistent. Yeah. Um, consistent times, consistent things that we were looking at, but it wasn't. It wasn't like all of a sudden like money moved, big money moved over here mm -hmm. um, or got closed or withdrawn or anything like that to make it look like a nest of a, like a nest day. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, she pays the daycare and the electric bill, like I said, so big groceries. And I want to say it was dwindling. I don't know how much is left in there, probably like 14,000 bucks or something, if I had to guess. I don't know if that's close. In her IRA. Yeah. Um, Right, last. Um, I, I mean, I don't know what to do. I mean, I still have people, and then they're telling me, oh, if they're not going to do it, we're going to act on this. And this guy that works for the FBI is going to call, he knows the people here and all this stuff. And uh, I just want you to know, I just have my checklist and. Yep. I and you're doing everything for a clean love conscience. Everything you do, yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not. I understand. I'm not. I'm not worried about it. I know everybody's in your year. I know everybody's got a solution. Yeah. I know personally. Personally, mm -hmm. I don't want the FBI investigating any of my shit. Personally. Because they are dicks or what? <laughs> they don't do it enough. They have a cool acronym. They don't have the caseload. They don't have the case management for these types of things. We did this exact thing two years ago. Um, it's 
So I understand the noise. I understand what they want to do. Send them. I don't care. Blasts on the media. We don't care. It's not the first time. Actually, this is the longest we've ever actually had like a working relationship with people. Because people get frustrated. They get overwhelmed with it. They don't understand the process. Um, Did they know, can they tell when the phone was placed down? Is there any kind of GPS thing that, with all these secret, you know, crazy phone stuff they got these days? No, the only real things that we have is um, when I, like when, when you make a call, it goes to, the only time your phone talks to the tower is when it's registered for that tower aspect. Um, then there's a phone operating system that we can tell, like when you start an app, when you close an app, when you start this, when you start that. But the problem in, in between all of that, like the phone, the phone went down because of the, it's it just one of those freak, and it, it always yeah. happens. Uh, so we, so there's things like the music playing and there's things that got, that looks like it got pushed through after um, once, like once the phone like came back to life, essentially, um, when it got data and it got all those things. Gotcha. Um, we'll never know for sure. Um, um, trying to think of another question. I don't know. I'm not getting the phone back. I <laughs> get that down. Um, this is going to bug the shit out of me. Especially Don't let it turn you into a beast. It's not worth it. It's just a... Because we're at the bottom of the lists, we're at, we're at the bottom of the list, we're, we're drawing straws. But because we've, we've eliminated everything else, mm -hmm. these are only the two things left. So... I know you guys never speculate, but <laughs> looking at these two, me knowing that she likes that type of attention when she's angry and I'm reaching out to people, I just, I know that's how she is. Um, I still think that's it, but I mean, I'll be way off. And because we have nothing over here. If you had to lean, and I know you guys don't do this, but if you're off the clock and we're uh, drinking a beer of Big League Dreams, based on what you're seeing, especially since this guy kind of was like, eh, not really. 50-50, yeah. to be completely honest with you. This is just a door that opened lately because mm -hmm. we did, from the very get-go, it was the th it was three, it was three. Mm -hmm. Stranger, you, her, or walking out. And those were the, th the three things that we thought we were confident, we're confident about you. We thought we were not, I was, we thought we had this door closed just based on a couple aspects, kids, money, like all those things that normally occur mm -hmm. um, with that. Um, so we kind of, then we just started concentrating on, on this and getting, getting her phone, getting all that data back mm -hmm. and just going through her phone data um, when that other aspect opened. It's just a door that we have to, I can't, we can't ignore that. No, yeah. Um, if you can give me that name only because I want to, it'll make me recognize like one night where she said, oh, I was talking to Sabrina or you know, whatever it is in there. I never told you that. I'm not going to tell you his name. No. And his phone isn't in your phone. Um, it's not like there's no. It probably is. All our contacts are shared. Mm -hmm. maybe that's why I want to know what, <laughs> which one it is because then I feel like I can I need something to do and I feel like I can maybe do something I did it huh? there's nothing new you can do for it I did things that you'll never be able to do yeah I literally had people following this guy for three days and she was text only or also email 
text, a couple emails. Um, and do you have all her emails? Because she had like three or four of them, yes. or two. Sherry Papini and four. Sherry's Blue Eyes and Start From Scraps and I think there is one of them. Oh. Just don't let it leave it to me. You doing this is only going to drive yourself crazy. It's going to drive me crazy too. But at least but this this aspect's my job. And it's a theory. It's an idea. Mm -hmm. It's a possibility. It's not. It's not the smoking gun. It's not the aspect. It's not like I say. I've told you, I'm going to contact every contact. It's not like I'm saying, hey, I got like five people I'm thinking about. I don't have that. I'm literally going to go do what those other, the A team's doing. <laughs> um, but mine's more of a focused, I'm, I'm focused on a, a, on a goal, on a mission, as opposed to me just driving around like an asshole. So obviously, like we just discussed, I'm not going to discuss this with people. Mm -hmm. We don't want that We're getting out. That means all the guys are going to be still on this. And we're at a point now where, like I just told you, they're going to do whatever they're going to do. So, not that you guys aren't already prepared, but, I mean, they might, well, we're getting the FBI, and you know, all that stuff. And I still feel that one. I obviously don't like what you said, and it's weird, all these things. Why was he in San Francisco the day before? Maybe she tried to go surprise him. Um, that's I why just don't I, see. That's why I jumped on an airplane with three hours notice. No, thank you. I just don't see all that, and I would hate for him to somehow light his way through that. I, and I don't know if I knew him, uh, or you can reach out to him and go, hey, there was there, there's a girl that, I know there's a girl that like set them up in that, and uh, Sherry was talking to you, because that's the text message I found. And I'm going to do that. Okay, but I um, do not know I, her name. I'm going to do that, because it's not going to be you how good of a phone call is that going to be if you call that guy? Yeah. So my other question is, well, I mean, we're talking about this now, mm -hmm. and I came in here. Were you planning? I mean, I feel like I need to know this stuff right away. Yeah. We, I got back in town for late Friday. Um, we were going to tell you we were going to talk to you when you reached out today. It was just easier. Instead of I mean, me. This is the case. She gets, like, arrested, right? I mean, <laughs> I feel like. She costs a lot of money and a lot of heartache for everybody. It would freak me out. But no, it's not, criminal. <laughs> it's not criminal at this point. And she'll be blasted over national media as being um, the shittiest person yeah. ever. But even the last thing she's writing is, you know, no matter what we go through, we always, you know, it's fights. No matter we're married, we get fights. And unfortunately, she's, you know, she really says super hurtful, mean things. But and the other I married that into she, that. I know that she's that way. <laughs> and when people don't, aren't working, she doesn't have another outlet. Like So when I'm at work, I have an outlet from like my house. Oh, yeah. My wife's at work. She has like that different outlet. It brings it brings the goods and the bads. Like when you go to work, the bads, like kids are getting raised by other people. Like the goods are, you know, you have all these different aspects. My mother-in-law has never had a job ever. Mm -hmm. So like when she's mad at somebody... You know, she doesn't have an outlet. She doesn't have like an eight hour of like where she can't think about it because, you know, I, I have to work today where she just stews on it and makes a, pro a little problem, a big problem. And I'm not saying that's the case here. I'm just saying when people don't have those outlets, it, it grows things. Um, do not let this consume you. I was, I'm telling you that because it's, it's a possibility. And it's something, and when I go start talking to all of the people on the contacts list, they're like, hey, why, hey, the cops just called me. I, I don't know who else didn't tell me. Hey, well, the cops just called me. Like, why are they going A through Z with all these fucking people? You'll be mad. It's, that's why I'm telling you. I would have never left you in the dark regarding our trip. Yeah. I wouldn't. Actually, the, the worst thing was, like, us having to sit there and tell you this. Mm -hmm. Like, when we were sitting down, Brian and I, like, talking about it, like, going, how the fuck do we tell them? Yeah. Because it's either, it's very, very little of nothing or it's everything and that's the problem with it. There's, I would say ask Jen. Jennifer mm -hmm. would probably somehow know that Corinne person. 
believe she lives down there. And I thought I also saw her maybe. Because then there was the other one. You guys, did you guys check off the uh, Corey Wheeler guy? Oh, um, so guy from Colorado? Yeah. And yeah. He moved here on October 31st. And, okay. Somebody spoke with him, or he just kind of looked at her. And, no, you were both. Oh, okay. I saw a picture of him. Well, he looks a little different kind of a character. <laughs> I don't know her last name. Um, all right, well, I will think about that. I guess that's what I'm going to think about now. Um, but it's minuscule. I don't have a yeah. direction. Well, if, if I you had were telling me there's like photos and they, you know, make a photo sound or something, then I'd be, you know, freaking out. Yeah, but I mean, there's nothing about it. It was more just venting on a fight or something. Yeah, and on a third party that doesn't know you, doesn't know anybody else. So it's a long, it's a long distance vent that can't come back. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know what's going to happen with the uh, the other guys, and I'm telling my private investigator guy has FBI people work for him, and he's telling me we need to get them involved. So I feel like I shouldn't share that with anybody. So that's like you said, so no one gets tipped off or whatever. So I'm going to lock that down. So I mean by like tipped off, I mean if she is, let's say, the theory behind walking out, she's hiding from you based on whatever. Okay. Uh, that's that's the theory. That's why people walk out and, and walk away from their kids. Yeah. Um, it's a fear thing. It's not a, it's a fear thing. Now, so our thoughts and our beliefs is if this is, if this is in fact true, mm -hmm. and then you're the guy going and knocking on doors and raising the noise and raising the stakes, um, because regardless, even if I had 50 people, it's gonna take a long time to go through that contact list. Mm -hmm go talk to these people individually, not only to look at them, but then use that data to see if they were there. Use it and then now breaking everything down, each person's gonna take a while. So we, when I go talk to you, I already have a lot of answers in my pocket rather than me just going, so tell me about yourself. Yeah. And me, I'm gonna have, I can jump to right to questions I wanna answer instead of me playing the, mm -hmm. are you lying to me games. Um, I don't, I had to tell you, I was going to tell you, don't let this one get to you. Okay. But this one so doesn't make any sense and there's no direction. That's mm -hmm. the only reason I, I feel like I can somehow. But with this, it's like a lightning strike. It could have, it could happen. Mm -hmm. This just as reasonably, this could have happened. And that was based on the theories from the very beginning, whether you wanted to hear it or not. That, that was always our, yeah. those were our three things. Yeah, I mean, and I would have said absolutely no, but obviously if, if that was still kind of going on, I mean, the way you're explaining to me, it does unfortunately make sense because I know how she, that is one thing that she gets from her mom or whatever. It's like, she likes that attention from you know somebody feeling bad for her or whatnot mm -hmm. so i can see that but i even tried to i even ran through a scenario like that what if she really was just didn't like being at home and she was just lying to everybody i still don't see how she can be that cold well that cold but that sneaky how could she pull it off she would have had to take you think you would have grabbed a couple 20s I and mean, you saw she had some 20s in her wallet yeah. She would have had to try to have some cash unless the guy was super rich. <laughs> but it is even, it's not even super rich to have one person. Yeah. Right? Do you have to be super rich to have a family? No, but I mean, like, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of thinking involved with planning. And I just felt like there would have had to have been communication. Absolutely. 
in the fact that there wasn't one, hey, I'll pick you up on this date, and then, you know, whatever. I don't know. But we're only going based on that phone. Yeah. How easy is it to grab and she, a throw And then she also didn't know if I was coming home that day. And I come home at random times. So sometimes I just show up at home. So and how that's easy why I don't like that. And how easy is it to grab a throw phone? So it's not... Oh, yeah, like a go phone. So it's not... We don't know. We don't know if those conversations have happened on a third-party phone or something. Well, your banking thing would probably show her purchasing one, right? I don't know if you pull that stuff. If she bought it with cash, no. All right. Holy shit. So don't let that eat you. It's just one small possibility in a, in a, in an open-world possibility of some random person driving down I-5 who took a left off I-5. That's really, that's, that's this theory. I don't think, I think it's some, yeah. before I thought it was an acquaintance of someone that lived down our road, but. So the problem with that theory is she wasn't a, wasn't like she was always running at the same time. Yeah. So it would have been another lightning strike of the perfect opportunity, the perfect mindset. How, there's so many in Shasta County right now that's willing to shoot it out with the cops right now mm -hmm. now it's just the the likelihood or the ability for that for that but there's four cops out there four sheriff's deputies to go out there and stop that person like as they're driving around how often have you driven around and never been stopped you, know, yeah. you, you think of like those aspects of it so you were that's what we're talking about there's one person in that time regardless if they've been sitting there or not but there we would have found we would have found signs of some strange stalker at this point. We would have found it. Yeah. Um, or that crazy infatuation. It would, it would have started, this wouldn't have been the first problem. These are never the first problem. When, uh, I think you said you didn't get fingerprints. What about the DNA, the ultra super sensitive DNA thing? Uh, it was inconclusive. So that just means it may have found stuff, but because they're not in the database, it wouldn't show it? Or that means, it means there's there was only me, Sherry, Tyler, and Violet on it? There's only you, Sherry, and Tyler. Um, and then there was other samples that there wasn't enough to make it a... So they had like... It didn't have enough of the little amounts to that to have happened, for it to have been there. Um, I don't know, in my mind, if, if that was the elaborate story and the hair and the headphones and everything, I just feel that there was some communication. Can you guys pull, you got my landline and all that? Yeah. Okay. Was there calls made from that to the same, that number? I personally don't know. I have oh, okay. somebody to look in there. I haven't been briefed on that yet. Because that would be the only other way to, it would be kind of hard to track from the phone or something. Mm -hmm. Like if we got, if she got a call that day or something. I remember who you, what phone company do you guys go through? BT. &T. That's right. Don't let this eat you up. I know who you are. I know how you're acting. And this, this, like everything else, is easier to think about and easy to try to go find somebody. Um, it's just a possibility. All right. Um. Do you know, did they ever get down with my work laptop and my work iPhone? Or are they still going to? Or her laptop? I will let you know tomorrow. I know. Okay. I don't know what. there are some photos that I, for the kids that are on her laptop that I was trying to get, but. Um, I will let you know first thing tomorrow. So they were copying and there was a lot on the hard drive. Yeah. And he's had like eight things to do. Um, so I will, I'll text you tomorrow. Yeah, I get that stuff back to me again. Yeah. So, scream to the high heavens about the FBI shit. I don't care. We're doing everything we can. Okay. Because it's not going to change us. Yeah. We've been in the national spotlight before. Um, so, but they are doing stuff for us. just doesn't fit. I mean, 
with Thanksgiving coming up. <laughs> or you'd think you'd plan something, why would be, you know, out of town or away. Not, I could have came home. Like, what if I was driving up right then? <laughs> I mean, she has no idea if I would have done that. Yeah. This whole thing is risk. If, if this is the possibility, if this is the theory, yeah, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that had to have happened, um, and there's a lot of things that would have had to happen afterwards. So it's not like this isn't like a one prong buy like yeah. type situation, based on who she is. Yeah, really. there's going to be there's going to be the initial getaway, the initial get safe, and then the come out shooting and talking shit about you and like all these different things. Um, but I think at this oh, point, yeah, I mean if she. If this is true, and then she's like, holy shit, and then if she did, then I can only say, of course, I'm the worst person in the world. And I'll be like, except for no one ever heard that, and all your journals say, you know, how much you love you are. I mean, but unfortunately, people have heard it. Yeah. Because she, she, she told people. Yeah. Um, so it's not... Because I would assume, I would, of the people you did talk to, there might be one, yeah, actually, they had an argument or this, but it's, I bet you... I would assume that all of them would make no. Some people say it's normal marriage stuff. Some people say she's scared you're going to chop her up and bury her in the backyard. No way. That's real? That's straight up. Fuck. So that, that's... I, I'll take a letter like this right now. I've never ever even hit her or anything. I know that. But, oh. but, that, that's but that's the, two, what that's the two extremes that she tells people. Fuck. I mean, there's there's the joke that she'll say in front of people, like, I know if I ever cheat on you, chop me up. I mean, she, I could see her saying something like that to a group of friends, uh, making, like, jokes, because the secret was I was always, she always thought I was secretly, like, FBI agent or CIA or something like that, just because I'm in the law enforcement and stuff like that. Ah, I got stuff saying, oh, it hurt my head. Yeah. There's nothing positive going to be about that talk. It's just a These are close friends saying that? Jesus. <sighs> All right. Huh? So don't be alarmed when everybody's calling you and saying that we're around, we're talking. So let's say it's the, <laughs> I, I don't know which one's worse now, but let's say <laughs> it's the one I don't want it to be. Um, you guys, we got her. Do you let me write, know right away or she sits down in here and you guys go, what's the deal? And you guys lay into her, or am I the first person to know? Oh. Okay. So, when when I find her... I don't her to take a lie detector test, because she would fail miserably, because I know it's a lie. <laughs> so, when I find her, uh -huh. um, I'll talk to her, debrief her, figure out what the fuck happened, and then I'm done. I'll call you and say, hey, I found her, she's safe, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. X, Y, Z, whatever X, Y, Z is to her, um, I can... Do you just take it on her word, or is there would she get a lie detector test? Well, there'd be nothing criminal about whatever okay. she avoids you. So let's say like she starts bashing you and saying whatever, uh, it'd be more of a civil litigation issue, not a criminal issue. Ah, fucking weird. All right, I'm gonna punch my punching bag. <laughs> Thank you for making it to the end of this video. Whether you watched it or skipped through, I still appreciate it. We're meeting again right here. And you're more than just a viewer, more than just a subscriber. You're everything to me here at Crime Circus. And you mean even more to me over on the Crime Circus Cult if you go over there and subscribe. Thank you. I'm not done with this case. I've got more interviews coming. And after I conclude this case, I've got some fireworks in store that has been specially requested by a special subscriber of mine. It's long overdue. I've had the DVDs for over a year now, and it's about time I released them. Coming soon. Anyways, please consider supporting this channel, leaving a comment, smashing the like button, watching some of my previous videos, and until next time, remember to stay safe out there because you know it's a dangerous world.